All right, this tutorial will show you how to use transitions in Sony Vegas. Um, this would be good for when you want to create a system movie or main menu video, let's say for hyperspin, for instance, on your main menu. Um, you know, you sometimes like to show a bunch of games and you want to showcase them with some nice transitions in between. Uh, so rather than just having fade in and fade out, you know, it just looks nice to have... Uh, to, to use some transitions. So let's um, first move some movies, sample movies on. I'm not gonna show a lot of movies, just give you a basic idea. Normally I put like 10, maybe 15 games, 15 seconds each or something, you know, depending on how long you, you want the movie. All right, so I'm just gonna take some Naomi videos, let's move all these down. No, huh? There we go. All right. So I don't want to get like right in the middle of the action. All right. Split that. Delete that. Move this over. So let's say we want. About 15 seconds. Let's say it's about what you want. Delete the rest. Let's get about 15 seconds of each clip. Maybe about 30. Oh, hold on, let's delete some of that first. Keep in mind, I'm looking at this number. That's how I know. You know, this is already 15 seconds. Then I know another 15 would bring me about 30. And you can do the math in your head. All right. So we got about a minute, all right. Four games a minute, not bad. Um, we can probably do less than that, 15 seconds. It get kind of boring to watch one one game, so. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm only doing four, so it's all right. All right, so let's zoom in a little. Let's go to our transitions. All right, um, the default transitions that come with Vegas, uh, they get old fast. So there's some really good plugins out there. Uh, the two best ones I found are the New Blue uh, and the Spice Master. I think 2.5 is the latest. This guy has some good unique ones that New Blue doesn't have. But New Blue, you can see you get a ton, way more than what Vegas gives you by default. And there's some really, really nice stuff. Box explodings. Uh, let's see. Tons of stuff. So if you find these plugins, however you get them, these are way better than the defaults. So let's um, just pick one. Oh, that one's all right. I'm going to drag this right at the edge. Adjust settings if you want. Don't have to go too crazy. All right, so I want, I want this about lined up. Let's see, where are we about? Oops. About one second. So you can hold shift and you can uh, move your, your arrow keys and you can see this is the length of the highlighted portion, 0.20. I usually like to do it around, around 20. Um, depending on the transition, some transitions look really cool. So you might want to extend it a little longer. Some, you know, you just kind of want the transition to happen faster you know it, it all depends you got to use your your judgment you know it, you can also the action that's going on in the game you, you might want to you know um time it better so you might you might speed up or slow down the, the tra transition but again you don't have to go too crazy just some things to think about so let's let's just um let's just put this at 30. 
All right, so that's about where we want it to end. All right, so what I'm going to do is put the cursor there, drag this clip. See the bar now turned yellow, so it's lined up. Let go. All right. What we're going to want to do is fade the audio. So grab it right there. Fade the audio to match where this clip starts. And fade in this audio to where this clip ends. And these bars will highlight to let you know. Which uh, is obviously very handy. So now, um, so now that the audio is done for this. And we should be able to play this. And you'll see right there. It looks good. A little more. So now, you know, if, if you don't want that little bit of audio, I'd actually move this a little bit more. Get rid of some of that. That last little bit of audio that, that was popping in. Move this back. That way you don't have that, that weird clip, that weird sound effect that was starting to pop in. Just doesn't sound right when, when you're fading out. Alright, so that looks about good. What you want to avoid is this. Where you're fading out the black. And then all of a sudden the video pops in or you put in a little fade in here. You, you definitely want to avoid that. That, that. that doesn't look that good. Okay, so you want the nice fade from one game to the next. And this is how you accomplish that. Alright, so let's move to the next clip. Uh, let's choose a new one. No. Sure, why not? Alright, where are we at? We got about a minute or a second, I mean. Yeah, that, that's fine, whatever. Um, let's move this over. Oops. Put the bar right there so I know where to stop. Right there. Fade the audio out. Fade the audio in. And take a look. Looks good. Next clip. Let's see what that looks like. Let me lower this. I don't like how that looked. That looked a little weird. No, we're, we're losing something there. Hold on. That might not be the right. Mm, I don't like that transition. For the sake of this video, I don't want any uh, problems. So, so you have to watch this A and B thing. Sometimes, um, if it's B to A, that means B would be the clip below, A would be the clip on top. So if it's B to A, you, you would have to actually put this clip above this one. When it's A to B, you put this clip above, you know, you just staircase these down. So you, you have to watch what the transition is doing, all right? So this is starting at A, and then it fades into B. You know, so you, you have to definitely watch what, what these little previews are showing you. I'll just put this in. See what that looked like. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Alright. Fade audio. Fade audio. Now, there's been a couple of times where I've kept... Um, this audio either going full or this audio starting out full depending on the action going on sometimes it blends nice um, but typically you do want to fade it it's just just to give like a nice smooth transition all right so this um, you know then the end your last clip you just want to fade out you know 20.20 half a second or so and your video too 
so it fades out nice. All right, and then obviously the beginning, you want to fade in. Same same idea. Uh, audio, I I uh, keep it full. Oh, this is audio I keep in full. No, sorry, all, all the way around. Video I keep full. There's no fade in. But audio you fade in at the beginning of all movie clips. That way uh, the audio starts up nice and fast. You don't have any lag. But the audio, you know, works its way up. So it doesn't like shock anyone or if your speakers are loud or something. Alright. And uh, that looks good. Alright, hope this helped you. Um, and then... Uh, once you're done, you, you render, you know, and then you can look at the uh, my other tutorials to see how you go through the rest of the processes as rendering and encoding and normalizing all that stuff. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.